welcome to Family Fun Fat Cooking. Michael, do you want to tell me what we're making today? We're making rainbow sugar cookies. That's right. Okay, first things first, we've got to put on our aprons. And the final ingredient is milk. Because we're making rainbow cookies, we're gonna do three separate batches of dough with two colors per batch. Today we are gonna do two batches of dough. That's right, we're gonna do two cups of flour per batch. So each of you guys get to pour this in your bowl. Wanna do it? Yeah. Here, just I dump it in, how about that? <laughs> Can you dump it? Ah. Half a cup of sugar to eat both. Okay, here's your half cup. Here's your half cup. Can you pour it in? Mm -hmm. We're gonna finish up with our dry ingredients by adding a half a teaspoon of each baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I'm gonna do it. You wanna do it? I'm gonna do it with a big. Okay. Put it in yours. Next, we're doing our half a teaspoon of baking powder. Thank you. Next, the salt. Bless you. Don't sneeze in your butter. That wouldn't be good. No. Ah! Don't do the eggs yet. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm just spill. This baby put the, his salt in my bowl, the whole thing. Well, we have double salt now in this batch, and I think what we're gonna do to try to fix it is just combine these two and then divide them later because I can't get the salt out of this bowl. So we're gonna make it work. Next step is to stir your dry ingredients with a spoon. So gently do that. Can you stir it carefully? Good job. My bowl is so big, I could just make it fly around. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. Next, you add a half a cup of butter to your mix. Okay, ready for this? Yeah. It's softened, so it's greasy. loves grease. <laughs> yes, I eat bowls of grease. Oops, we're making a little spill. But the next step is to cut in your butter. So for this step, we're gonna have Annie Ann come and help us since there's lots of small hands. And we're gonna do it. So the reason we're cutting in the butter is because it's slightly chilled. And we're doing that because we want to make it like a pastry. And the colder your butter, the more flaky and yummy your cookie will turn out. If your butter's too soft, it'll just be like any other regular cookie and it won't be flaky. Next, we're gonna add one egg and two tablespoons of milk to each batch. Wanna crack your egg? Yeah. Do you know how to do it? We're gonna go. Ready? Good job, Michael. Can you ready to do yours? I can tell what he's gonna do. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> you wanna try cracking it on the edge? Here we go. We open it up. Put yours in mine. No, mine's gonna go in mine. Okay, ready? Set, crack it on the edge. Okay, I think you broke it. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of milk. I did it. Do you wanna dump it in? Somehow I managed to spill pouring that in. Okay, the next one. I'm going to do it. I'm not gonna do it. 
Okay, you can talk. <coughs> I'm the fun baby. <coughs> Next, we're gonna add the best ingredient. A teaspoon of vanilla to each. Mm, so anyway, do you want to snip it? Mm. You like it? We could use this for making pancakes. For pancakes, that's a good idea. Next, you stir it up. We're mixing these together so we can even out the salt that we accidentally put too much in one bowl. That cookie dough? It is cookie dough. I think you just realized that we're making sugar cookies. Uh-oh. Me too. We are. <laughs> I just realized it was cookie dough and it started to look like actual cookie dough. Yeah. How's it smell? Uh, mm. Yummy? Oh, well, you so can't eat it yet. <laughs> He's eager. <laughs> you can sniff so it. Annoying. No sniff. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. No sniff. <laughs> I'll eat it. The last step is to get parchment paper, wax paper, or silicone baking sheets and line your surface. Then you take your dough and you divide it. Into each divided section is where you put your dye. We're going to start with the minimum amount, which is three drops in each section. I did. Good job. And you're making orange right here, so you're going to need the red still. And you're going to do one red and two yellows. Yes, you just knead it in. I do. Yep, so yep. carefully mix it up. You're, you're going to get dirty. Your stuff look like good yellow. We're finishing up our first four colors and then we're gonna start making blue and purple. So we're gonna make purple by having I'm using red six and drops blue. of red dye. And since we don't have a dropper for this dye, it's, this is called gel dye or gel paste. I'm gonna use a toothpick to put some in. We're getting ready to roll out our dough. So we're setting some plastic wrap. Then you'll take your first color of dough, put it in the center, and then cover it again. Press it flat with your hand. And then we're gonna use the rolling pin to make it as flat as we can. Now we're going to set this one aside and then do the same thing for the other colors. Now you'll chill your dough. If it's in the freezer, do it around 20 minutes. If it's in the fridge, do it for about an hour. Our dough is chilled, so next we're just going to take off each layer individually and carefully peel the saran wrap off. I will. You want to help me? Here, grab mm -hmm. that and try to find the end when they come together. And then, you carefully lay it. Oh, that's cold. Upside down. Dough yeah, side down. Dough side down. And leave it as flat as you can. Don't touch it. And you just keep Don't doing that with each layer.
You're gonna leave the saran wrap on top of the green layer and you're just going to press it down as evenly and hard as you can to make sure all the layers are sticking together. Now the yellow layer. I love that. Okay, now let's help Mama pick up this side. Okay, we're gonna bring it Turn it over. It Not yet. There we go. Okay. Go Go's favorite. Go Go's favorite. You could have two favorites. Oh yeah, it's really cool. Go Go okay. likes to red a lot too. Here, you want to this up? Not the dough, just the saran wrap. There you go. Good job. Okay, now Not I'm gonna take on. this. Take it upside yeah. down. This is and now we're gonna press, press it down. It so how hard should we press? Really hard? Hard, but flat. So it's all even. You don't want to make bumps like this. <laughs> no bumps. <laughs> now Mama's going to turn it over. And press. It smells so good. Get that air bubble out of that. There, there was an air bubble right in the middle. You're going to have to squeeze it going out. Yeah. Now you put it back in the freezer for 10 minutes, or the refrigerator for about 25 minutes. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Oh, you wanna pull this off? Yes. We just grabbed these out of the freezer for their second time. Uh, They're pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna just cut them and make even lines. Oh, it already looks really cool. Oh, oh, and you're oh, look at it, look. They always oh. eat some. <laughs> Even the inside is rainbow. Yeah. I just help you. You're a good helper. This one is big. Oh, there we go. We got it. Are you eating, Owen? Mm -hmm. Oh. I guess it's, it is what it is. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh gosh, what do you think, Michael? It's so cool. I just, I just want to, I just want to grab a piece. <laughs> We're starting to experiment with different things we can do with this. As you guys saw, we have these little things sitting here we've been working with. But basically, we're cutting off the trimmings and then we're using some of the trimmings to see what kind of shape we can make. So we have this little rectangle here, and we're gonna see how we can twist it, and how we can bend it, and how it might look. fun part. This is where we're actually going to make our real design we are trying to make instead of using the scraps. Yes. Do you want to help make a rainbow? Yes. Okay, so take this right here and bend it into a rainbow shape, okay? Like a U. Oh yeah, like that. Good job. That's perfect. And then when you make your rainbow, when you're done, we'll set it right here so you can bake it and then you can eat it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Yeah. Can, I, can I do it this time? Now I'm okay. going to do it again. Okay. For the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to try twisting it. I'm going to put another piece on. Okay. I made a rainbow tray. Good job. You want to put it on the tray? Yes. Yeah. Here, put it right down there. Good job. I'm going to make Okay. Look what I made. Wanna make something else? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. make this. Bake it for eight to ten minutes. Good. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Good. <coughs> oh, it must be really yummy.
As you guys can see, we've made a whole bunch of cookies. We baked them and they look great. They also taste great. Angela made frosting for us. You can put any frosting you like or no frosting at all. But we're doing frosting, we're dipping some in sprinkles and having a lot of fun with it. And Michael and Owen, which cookie is your favorite? Um, I like this one. That one? I like this one that Angela This one's made. cool. Um, yeah. Um, this is a really cool breaking one. I like this one. You like that one too? I'm gonna eat it. Oh, you're Good gonna job. eat it? Okay. How's it taste? Good. Good. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.